a few months back on the CZ form. I saw reference to a new grip that was coming out soon for the CZ Scorpion. It was just released a few days ago and here it is. This is the Puxe Development Pathfinder Grip. So here's the Pathfinder Grip side by side with the original Scorpion Grip and the Magpul AR-15 Grip for reference. You can see probably the biggest draw for this grip is the closer to vertical angle compared to the original. The Pathfinder grip comes with its own fastener as seen on the right. It is a smaller diameter fastener uh, than the original Scorpion. It also comes with a removable hex nut. And as you can see here the the hex driver or the socket for each grip is a different size. The Pathfinder uses a smaller one, so be careful when you're torquing it down. You don't really need to go crazy with it compared to the original. You'll see that each side has a hex, so you could put the fastener in from either side. And you can barely tell it's a hex once you get the fastener in there anyways. Here's a look inside the two with the Pathfinder on the right and the original on the left. You can see the Pathfinder has some reinforcing ribs in there. Just like the original Scorpion grip, the inside of the Pathfinder is hollow. There's no provision for any kind of a hatch door or a plug but one could be made. Both the grips are of similar thickness with the original Scorpion grip being about 50 thou thicker um, and my measurements might be off a little bit because I have a textured grip on my original Scorpion grip. Because of this chamfer here to aid in the lower removal compared to the original grip angle there is more of an exaggerated cutout here which you'll see later with the grip installed. The front of the grip features these ridges followed by those square protrusions and a textured side panel and there's more ridges along the back. Here's the grip on the Scorpion. Just one more look at the angle you can see how dramatic the change it is compared to the original. Um, the grip has a very nice fit to it. Um, it was a lot easier to put on than it was to take off the original. I had to use a rubber mallet to take, to take the original off the first time. This one I was able to just press it on by hand. Um, then I tightened the small screw not too tight because you don't need to. It's a good fitting grip as is. The polymer on this grip matches the Scorpion really good. The only thing that you would not see in this grip is these unusual kind of swirls that you see in the original Scorpion's polymer. I think they're easier to see sometimes when the Scorpion's dry, less oil on it. But somebody looking at this gun that doesn't know anything about it would not be able to tell the difference. Um, and here with the light shining on it, it probably makes it look a little bit more mismatched than what it actually looks like in person. So I'll try to take a picture for my thumbnail image or something that, tro that shows the true um, reflection of the polymer in most light. Uh, there is a slight gap in this grip. Oh. Drop my pointer. There's a slight gap in there. If you look at it just right, it's maybe five or ten thou, if that. Um, and that aids in installation. You can see it's roughly paper thickness or so. And it's only noticeable if you look at it just the right angle. Probably won't even be able to get it here on video. Um, that gap isn't present on the original, and that's probably one of the reasons 
It's so hard to get the original off. Looking towards the front, there's that gap you see to aid in removable. So even when the grip's all the way forward, you can get the lower off. Let's see if I can do it here on camera. Oh, so you can see it does fit a little tighter. Um, I'm not sure what's causing that. It might be the grip squeezing in on the lower a little bit. Or maybe I have the grip a little too far forward. Because I did have this on earlier with the grip just back a smidge. And it makes quite a bit of difference. Let's put the lower back on. Makes a little bit of a snap there. A little more so than usual. So there is something going on there, but nothing I'd worry about. Um, and if you run the grip back even farther, chances are it'll just, you know, be like the original. Um, no added pressure or anything. But I might have just smacked this one too far forward when I put it on. If I knocked it back a few thou or so, it might get rid of a little of that interference, whatever it is. I'm a lefty, so it's kind of hard to get this on video, so I'm standing behind the tripod here. So this is how my hand fits. Going all the way up to the top. You can see it does tend to position my finger near the upper end of the trigger. Kind of had to slope down a little bit if you want to get lower on the trigger. Which is kind of weird because compared to the original, you can see the original, you'd think your hand would sit up way higher, but because of the angle, it tends to position your finger lower on the trigger. So despite this swell sitting lower, um, depending on your hand size, you still may end up grabbing the trigger a bit high. Um, my hands are on the smaller size side, so if you have larger hands or fatter hands, it might position your hand a little lower. The texture grip panel on this grip actually rises up so you can see the boundary line that goes around the whole thing and all this textured surface is actually up above the rest of this the overall grip um, compared to like here's the original mag pull all this all these little things cutouts are down into the grip with these lines being at the original surface level of the grip um, unfortunately, to be honest on this grip, this material here isn't very grippy at all. Um, in fact, with my eyes closed, I can barely tell the difference between this pot spot here and the smoother spot. Um, same goes with these little ridges up front. They're probably maybe 3 thou height or something like that. And they, they just don't really dig much into your hand. Um, when, you're, when you're holding the grip, you don't really feel those much at all. What you do feel is the ones in the back. Um, but even those, I would have preferred to have a sharper edge to really dig into your hand. Um, long term with this grip, I would see me putting a rubberized cover on there. Um, but to be honest, I also kind of prefer rubber grips anyways in the first place. So I might just be biased on the effect of this, of this, of these, um, plastic texture grips. But these little protrusions on, like, compared to something like a Glock, I mean, the Glock is really aggressive and these ones, you can, you can really hardly feel them. I would like to see them a little higher. And the the grooves in the front are pretty much the same height as the squares. I mean, I think they are the same height. 
So before I give my overall impressions, there is a disclaimer that I haven't actually shot the gun with this new grip on it yet. I will take it to the range soon, but it's currently monsoon season in Ohio, so I haven't been able to get out much. Um, but pros for this grip would be the angle. It's a much better angle than the factory grip in my opinion. It doesn't put your hand at an awkward angle. Um, the finish or the material match to the original gun is excellent. Um, nobody's going to be able to tell it's an aftermarket grip. They're pretty dead on as far as shade and surface finish go. Um, fit is great. There is that little bit of a hang up with the lower, but I don't think it's really much of an issue. I might even be able to do some troubleshooting and find out the exact hang up and maybe do a little bit of filing or sanding and take care of it. Um, the negatives, I'm not sure. I, I have to shoot it more to see where my finger actually goes on the trigger um, as far as the height goes and in relation to this little groove here that kind of sets the height of your hand. Um, so that would be one. And the other would just be the texture of the grip is not very aggressive at all. Um, while the texture finish here looks cool, it just doesn't grab your hand. And same with pretty much everything else on the grip. It, it's not very aggressive. You do feel these back here, but your hand going around front, you just don't feel like the grip's holding you back like some other grips on the market do. So my next step here is to shoot it and see how I like it. Um, chances are I'm going to put a, a rubber grip cover on it just because I like rubberized grips. But I will follow up with a second review. And thanks for watching.